Hello everyone, Randy here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how I make my opening slide and uh, thumbnails. I've been asked this a uh, few times how I make and what I use to make these, uh, these slides. And you folks might be a little bit uh, surprised about what program I am using. So we're basically in the uh, folder here where I store all my slides and screenshots for, in this case it's the Oklahoma video. So for this video we're going to be making... Uh, it's going to be episode 62 for Oklahoma. So we got the original Microsoft PowerPoint file here. And that is the uh, program I use to make my slides. I use Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, Microsoft PowerPoint is not a free program, by the way, for those of you wondering. You do have to pay for Microsoft PowerPoint um, if you have Microsoft Office. Uh, typically, Microsoft Office comes with Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Now, I'm uh, fairly fluent in uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. I use it uh, quite a bit, so a very easy program for me to use. Anyway, we're going to open up uh, the file here. And for those of you not uh, familiar with PowerPoint, I'm probably not going to explain really how to use the program that much. Um, it's a fairly simple program to use, at least for the uh, basics of what I'm doing anyway. So anyway, uh, with Microsoft PowerPoint, we have the uh, slide here. Uh, one thing I will note about uh, the slide under uh, slide size, I've got it set to widescreen. Most of the videos I make are widescreen 16 by 9. Uh, the one exception to this is the uh, Farm Simulator 16 video. That is a standard 4x3. On that, pretty much everything else I do is widescreen 16x9. And then with a custom slide size of 20 inches by 11 and a quarter inches. It gets you a little bit uh, higher quality picture when you save it. So that's really the only thing I'll note here. So we'll just uh, cancel out of that. Back to the home tab here. So what we are going to do, uh, these are all text holders here, by the way. So we got Oklahoma text holder, name of the map. We got the R.D. Allen text holder up here. And this is just some uh, word art, by the way. And same thing with Oklahoma. And you go over to the format tab here. You got all the different word art. Usually I customize it however I like it to look. And then down here, episode 61. We're going to change that to 62. And then for episode 62, let's see. I think the title is going to be, let's think about this, 12 tractors. Always try to think of a, an interesting title. So 12 tractors, 6 rakes, and 6 balers. And then we're going to uh, format the background here. So format background. It's already open, I see. Uh, we're going to go to File. Browse to where the uh, screenshots are. Uh, in the case of Farming Simulator, Farming Simulator 2015 saves its screenshots in your documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2015, Screenshots. That's where they are located. And I have, we're going to go with this one here, I believe. Uh, you can see all the screenshots I've taken. Pretty much one for every episode I've ever done. Uh, sometimes there's two, sometimes three. Sometimes I'll take like a couple different ones. You know, I find one I like, ooh, I'll take this one. And then I find one I like even more, I'll take that one instead. So uh, if we go to the older here, you can see I've got a lot of screenshots. But anyway, the uh, recent one I took for this will be episode 62 is this one here. Or no, it's not. That does not look right. I think it's this one here. There we go. That is the one I was going to go with. And for some reason, it's like really dark. So what I always do, if it's dark like this anyway, I go over to picture corrections. And we are going to uh, probably lighten this up a little bit. Something like that, just to brighten up the image. Uh, that might be a little too much, actually. Maybe we'll go with that. Uh, maybe that was actually... Yeah, we'll go with that. Just to, you know, like I said, brighten up the image, make it look a little brighter. All depends what it is in the game. Uh, when I recorded this video, it was uh, really dark in the game for some reason. I don't know why, but so we'll just uh, brighten the image up. So there you go. That's what I use to uh, create my opening picture and uh, thumbnails. I actually use uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Like I said, it might seem like a little bit of a weird choice to use Microsoft PowerPoint to create this with. But I find it one of the easiest programs to uh, create them with. So once we got it created, we're going to go over to File, Save As, and we're going to save it as a JPEG image, and we're going to go with 62, 
save. And you want to just save just this one. You know, if you got more slides on here, it'll like save each slide. I've only got one slide. It's all I need. So there you go. Let's see. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else to really note here. Uh, like I said, Microsoft PowerPoint's a real easy program to use. You can, you know, put text. You can you can do whatever you want, move it around. Um, you can add shapes and boxes and insert additional pictures. Uh, Microsoft PowerPoint is such a powerful program for creating slides. That's actually why I use this program. And like I said, I find it easier to use this as opposed to like a, a picture editor. I find this to be much easier to use. So anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps you folks out as to how I create my opening slides and thumbnails. Uh, if you folks have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.